Body dysmorphic disorder is a mental health condition that affects both men and women. Those who suffer from body dysmorphia develop obsessions about flaws in their physical appearance. These perceived flaws may be minor or may not even exist at all. Body dysmorphia is more than simply disliking certain physical attributes and body parts. In fact, people with body dysmorphia spend so much time fixating, worrying, and obsessing about their perceived defects that it prevents them from functioning in daily life. What causes body dysmorphic disorder? There is no one specific cause for body dysmorphic disorder. In fact, medical experts believe it is a combination of numerous environmental, biological, and psychological factors. Some possible contributory factors include family history of body dysmorphic disorder life experiences such as bullying or teasing at school personality traits such as perfectionism or comparison to others cultural influences such as diet culture coexisting mental health diagnoses like depression, anxiety, or OCD low self-esteem or loneliness. What are the signs and symptoms of body dysmorphic disorder? Like any mental health disorder, there are many possible symptoms of body dysmorphic disorder. Some people who suffer from BDD may display most of the common symptoms, while others may only experience one or two. In order to receive an official diagnosis of body dysmorphia, as per the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, the patient's preoccupation with a perceived flaw or imagined defect must cause significant distress and impact their ability to function day to day. Common symptoms of BDD can include avoiding mirrors, obsessive mirror checking, excessive grooming, compulsive behaviors like skin picking, exercising excessively or obsessively. What is muscle dysmorphia? Muscle dysmorphia is a type of body dysmorphia. The key distinction is that those who suffer from muscle dysmorphia fixate on muscle tone and size. Many of the symptoms of muscle dysmorphia are similar to body dysmorphia. However, there may also be more of a focus on exercise and diet. Some common signs of muscle dysmorphia include excessive exercise, obsessive calorie counting, avoiding eating in settings where there's less control over food content, using steroids or other drugs to enhance appearance or muscle growth. What are the complications and risks of body dysmorphia? Body dysmorphia can be overwhelming and extremely intense. Left untreated, the symptoms can have a significant impact on one's quality of life. Living with body dysmorphia without professional help can lead to severe social anxiety, low self-esteem, negative thoughts, feelings of isolation, relationship problems, performance problems, at work or school reckless behaviors such as excessive cosmetic surgery or dangerous dieting, suicidal thoughts. Can you have body dysmorphic disorder and other mental health conditions? Like many mental health conditions, it is possible to suffer from BDD and other conditions at the same time. In fact, it's common for BDD patients to also suffer from anxiety disorder, depression, or obsessive compulsive disorder. BDD can often be misdiagnosed as OCD and other disorders due to the similarity in some of the symptoms in patients. It's therefore extremely important to seek a proper diagnosis from a mental health professional. This will help make sure that you are receiving the best treatment for you. What are the body dysmorphia treatment options? Living with body dysmorphic disorder can be truly overwhelming. The good news is that there are many different ways to treat body dysmorphia. With the right support and guidance from healthcare professionals, you can learn to control repetitive behaviors and significantly improve your quality of life. Therapy options for treating body dysmorphic disorder Once you reach out to your healthcare provider for support, they may suggest that you try cognitive behavioral therapy. This is a type of psychotherapy that is used to treat a number of different mental health conditions. Its main focus is to help patients to identify and change their thought and behavior patterns. Using a method called exposure and response prevention, cognitive behavioral therapy is designed to help decrease repetitive and compulsive behaviors like mirror checking and camouflaging by gradually exposing patients to situations that they fear. Medication for body dysmorphia selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors such as fluoxetine are the most commonly used drugs for body dysmorphia. This antidepressant medication can help to control compulsive behaviors and symptoms associated with BDD. 
Different drugs will work better for different people, so it's important to seek professional medical advice from a qualified clinician before you take any medication for body dysmorphia. It's also worth noting that some people may respond better to therapy and will therefore not require the use of medication at all. How to help a loved one with body dysmorphia It can be hard to know exactly how to help a loved one. It's a deeply personal and overwhelming experience. Some useful tips for helping a family member or loved one with body dysmorphia include, listen, you don't always need to provide a solution, just listen accept their feelings, even if you don't understand them provide practical support so that they can prioritize their therapy sessions or self-care practices, acknowledge and celebrate the small wins, learn and understand their triggers, remember to take care of yourself too. Thank you for watching.